In my last video, someone corrected the way I spelled palette in regards to color palette. So I'm making this video because I feel like I have to prove something. So this is how I make a color palette in a sprite. If you need proof of my credibility, this is an artwork I made back in 1972. I call it Pong. I feel like it really insinuates my artistic creativity and my use of color. So here is how I would go about making a color palette. So the first thing I do is I choose a color I like. I tend to use an HSV because it makes the most sense. Trying to use RGB is just difficult because I don't know what adding more red to a color really means. HSV stands for hue saturation value. It could also be called hue saturation brightness. Hue means the color like red, green, blue, yellow, etc. Saturation means like how much of that color. Like in a cartoon, the colors tend to be more saturated, while in pieces with more deeper meaning, the saturation tends to be lower. The value just means the brightness or the darkness of a color. So I just decide arbitrarily what color I like to start with. Like if I'm painting a blueberry, I'll choose a blue color to start. I tend to try to pick the color that's in between, not the lightest or the darkest color. Now I tend to pick the darker color next for my chosen color. You do this by not just moving the brightness down. You will also do a thing called hue shifting most of the time. Hue shifting means to move a color more towards blue if it's getting darker or yellow if it's getting lighter this is not an exact science but that is the general trend you can also change the saturation this is a bit more complicated since different colors tend to have different saturation graphs for yellow it should be most saturated in the brighter colors and less saturated in the darker colors red will be most saturated in the center color and blue will be most saturated in the darkest color. Now to choose a lighter color, I choose the middle color again, but do the opposite steps that I did for the darker color and this should get you a lighter color. The amount of change in darkness or lightness in your color depends on your personal preference. I personally like two to three big changes per color, but some people like bigger color palettes that tend to have more intermediate changes of light and dark. You can repeat this with your other colors until you get a color palette you like. Make sure your color palette does not contain too many of the same sort of color. You don't want two colors that are nearly identical in pixel art as it just looks weird and blurry. Lastly, if that didn't make any sense to you, go to lowspec.com and just take someone else's color palette and use it for your own art. Also, 99% of you aren't subscribed and I like watching the number go up when I'm at work.